Welcome to another Cracking the Box video here on the Kitmaker Network. Supplied to me from our good friends at airbrushes.com in the UK, I have the opportunity to look at Iwata's Studio Series Smart Jet Air Compressor. Iwata is constantly moving forward, improving on designs of their growing line of airbrushes and compressors. For the purposes of this review, I'll be looking at one of Iwata's Studio Series compressors, the Smart Jet Air Compressor, model number IS850. Technically, the IS850 has been around for a few years now, and other than a few changes to the coloring and some of the fittings to the trim, the compressor remained basically unchanged in design. The first thing we need to do in this review is an unboxing of the new compressor and follow the instructions for setting it up. This compressor was shipped to me by airbrushes.com in the UK and was packed very well inside a standard shipping box. Nestled inside a bed of packing peanuts is the Smart Jet compressor itself. The compressor is supplied in an attractive, sturdy, flip-top cardboard box. Inside we find the compressor and all the ancillary items provided, which are individually packed in plastic bags and secured with foam and cardboard dividers. Inside the box, Iwata provides a small instructional booklet. One of the first things that should be done before plugging in any new compressor is to read the supplied documentation regarding setup. Number one on the list is to confirm the contents of the box. There is the Iwata Smart Jet Air Compressor, one coiled air hose, one straight air hose, a moisture trap assembly, one airbrush holder, already attached to the compressor by the way, a small clear bag containing three coupling adapters for different airbrushes, a small round filter, one rubber o-ring, and the compressor documentation. Moving along with the setup, the coiled air hose gets attached first. One end of the coiled air hose is attached to the compressor outlet and the other end is attached to the moisture trap assembly. Even though the input and output fittings are labeled on the moisture trap, there are two different size fittings in which allows a foolproof installation. The next step calls for the straight air hose to be attached. The larger quarter inch fitting is attached to the moisture trap and the other end of the will be eventually attached to your airbrush. While the instructions mention snapping the moisture trap into the bracket that was factory installed onto your compressor, you will need to install the supplied o-ring onto the clear plastic collection chamber of the moisture trap. Simply unscrew the clear plastic bottom, roll the rubber o-ring in place, then place the top of the moisture trap assembly on the top of the bracket and screw the bottom half in through the bottom. Did you get all that? A little confusing, but it shows you in the video that it's pretty straightforward. This will create a tight fitting seal between the bracket and the moisture trap and will ensure no movement of the moisture trap itself. Basically at this point the setup is complete. There is a small circular sponge-like filter included in one of the packages inside the box. This is a replacement filter for the compressor's air intake. This intake is located on the side of the compressor under the semi-rounded black cap. Finally, Supplied in the box were three coupling adapters that are used for three specific airbrushes, Badger, Pache, and Aztec. As a result of this compressor being provided to me by airbrushes.com in the UK, the power supply for the Smart Jet is equipped with a standard Type G power cord for the 220 volt electrical systems in the UK. I will be using an inexpensive step up, step down transformer. Please note, when purchasing this or any other power equipment from countries other than your own, you will want to make sure that they are sold with the power cord specific to your location, otherwise you will need an adapter or alternative transformer. Once the setup is complete, it is time to turn this compressor on. There is a small on-off switch located on the top back section of the compressor just above the internal motor. With a flick of the switch, the motor turns over effortlessly and produces airflow. With an airbrush or a quick disconnect installed, the compressor runs until the compressor reaches the optimum static pressure of 50 to 55 PSI. This only takes a couple of seconds for the system to reach the maximum pressure. Now on to the functions. The Iwata Smart Jet Air Compressor is a single piston oilless compressor. This compressor employs what Iwata calls smart technology and is considered to be basically maintenance free. Although there is no external air tank included, there is a uniquely designed system created by Iwata to compensate for the lack of the stored pressurized air. The coiled air hose provided has two functions. 
First being the coils provide cooling to the air flowing from the compressor, which helps to eliminate moisture. Second, this hose somewhat acts as an external storage tank, but only smaller. There is a built-in regulator in the system which allows the maximum static pressure of 50 to 55 PSI and a working pressure at about 35 PSI. The compressor has an automatic start and stop feature which is triggered to turn the compressor on when the internal pressure reaches about 30 PSI and shuts off when the pressure inside reaches 50 to 55 PSI. The coiled hose leads into a special water trap Iwata has provided. On this water trap there is a small pressure gauge to show the working pressure of the compressor. Below the gauge is a clear plastic water trap. Attached to the bottom of the water trap is a small bleed valve, commonly called a MAC valve. This valve serves as the dual purpose in that the valve can be opened to drain off built up condensation from the line, as well as adjusting the overall flow of air through the line to your airbrush. Since the Smart Jet air compressor does not have an adjustable regulator installed, the small adjustment valve at the base of the water trap compensates for the lack of the regulator. When the valve is open, effectively creating a leak in the airline, the flow rate is changed allowing the user to obtain lower velocity of airflow. What does all this mean? Well, if the continuous working pressure with the valve closed is 30 PSI, with the valve open, the user is able to lower the flow allowing basically a lower PSI rating. Depending on the airbrush you're using and the paint and the work you're doing, lower PSI setting might be needed. With all of the components installed, from the compressor to the water trap, Iwata states that this will reduce the pulsating which occurs in a number of tankless airbrush compressors sold today. Finally, from the output side of the water trap, the straight polyurethane air hose is attached. This comes with a fitting that is threaded to fit all Iwata airbrushes. This is a standard fitting also which fits Harder and Steenbeck, Sparmax, and Grex airbrushes with no need for adapters. One of the bigger concerns, other than the output flow of the compressor, is the overall decibel level it produces, or to put it basically, the noise level. Documentation from Iwata on the Smart Jet Air Compressor states that the decibel output is being 50 decibels. Without knowing what parameters Iwata sets to obtain these levels, I will base my findings on placement of the compressor between 2 and 3 feet from my working surface. For starters, a normal speaking voice will be between 60 and 70 decibels. The room I was in when I created this review was quiet, but still registered a decibel level of about 36. When I hold the decibel meter within one foot of the compressor in the on position, I recorded a level of about 64 decibels. Basically, the compressor's sound output is as loud as a normal voice speaking when running. When I placed the compressor on the floor three feet away from my working space, I recorded decibel levels that were about 45. Simply put, this compressor functions extremely quiet, just below the manufacturer's suggested output level for sound. For this review, I am using a number of personal airbrushes to test out the functions and capabilities of this compressor. Unfortunately, I do not have any Iwata airbrushes to test these functions with. For now, I will have to assume that the compressor should function at least at the same level with an Iwata brand airbrush attached. As you may or may not know, Airbrushes will perform differently depending on the needles and tip size, select design features, and of course by manufacturer. Typically most issues with airbrushes stem from the user, either a lack of understanding of the product being used, or it is simple as the product just does not fit the consumer. I mention this because choosing an air compressor has to do with supplying air to your airbrush, and not necessarily how your airbrushing will turn out. This is one reason why I try to use as many airbrushes as I can to review a compressor that is given to me. This will hopefully give anyone who chooses to read or watch my reviews a better understanding on what the compressor can do. First off, there is no apparent reason to question the 50 PSI holding pressure of the compressor or the 30 PSI full output flow since the gauge provided appears to be in excellent condition and consistently recording the same levels in either static holding mode or with the air hose wide open allowing the air to flow freely. Taking this into consideration, I used an anemometer to check the difference in flow through each airbrush as well as checking for any fluctuation in that flow. In addition, I wanted to use the bleed valve on the water trap to check to see how well the flow of the air can be controlled. I used five airbrushes I have to test the functionality of the compressor in the system. 
Harder and Steenbeck Infinity, which has a 0.15 millimeter needle, an Evolution, which has a 0.2 millimeter needle, the Badger Chrome, which has a 2 millimeter needle, Sparmax X SP20X, which has a 2 millimeter needle, and the Grex Titanium Gravity Feed, which has a 0.3 millimeter needle. Each airbrush is made a little differently, and fortunately, the needle sizing is different, which allows me to see how the flow of air functions depending on the size of the needle. In all cases, the SmartJet air compressor performed exactly as it was advertised. There is more than enough airflow produced by the compressor to adequately spray a wide variety of paints from enamels to lacquers down to water-based acrylics. I do have a few notes regarding minor findings while testing this compressor. First, I read many comments online about how tankless compressors fluctuate and do not perform as well as compressors with external tanks. Iwata has solved most of this problem with the smart technology, automatic switching, and the coiled air hose. By holding my finger down on the trigger of each airbrush while they were attached, I produced a constant flow large enough for the compressor to not catch up and shut off at the 50 PSI level. Only one airbrush out of five, Sparmax's SP20X, showed signs of fluctuation while the pressure cycled between 30 PSI and 50 PSI on the gauge. This fluctuation was controllable through the use of the bleed valve, which created a steady flow from the compressor. The only downside to the bleed valve is the sound of air produced with the open valve. In addition, the compressor will run continuously when the valve is open. This effectively eliminates the automatic stop function of the compressor. It is possible to add an inline regulator to the system if the user does not want to use the bleed valve function. I would suggest adding the regulator after the smart technology automatic switch located just before the coiled air hose. This will help with any possible fluctuations that may be noticed. All in all, the Iwata Smart Jet Air Compressor is a high quality, beautifully designed airbrush compressor. The smart technology is a great feature, even though using the bleed valve attachment pretty much eliminates this function. The combination coiled hose and water trap is another fine addition to this compressor. The coiled line does help keep the air produced by the compressor cooler, and we all know cooler air produces less condensation. For any water buildup in the water trap, the bleed valve doubles as a drain to remove the water from the system. The Smart Jet air compressor produces more than enough air to adequately airbrush the wide range of model paints sold today, including acrylics, enamels, and lacquers. With the bleed valve function of this compressor, the end result is the user's ability to change the output flow rate of the compressor without the need of a regulator. The Smart Jet air compressor is super quiet, which is always a welcome feature in the combined spaces of most modeling rooms. The automatic stop functioning, along with the solid construction of the compressor and its parts, lets me know that the Smart Jet air compressor will last a very long time for the average modeler. This compressor is virtually maintenance free. There is nothing to oil and no tanks to empty besides the small water trap if and when condensation builds up in the line. There is a small air filter installed on the side of the compressor. The changing of this filter might be the only true maintenance item I can list. Iwata does provide a spare filter inside the box. When this filter needs to be changed is solely dependent on the length of overall operation and the conditions in which the compressor is running. I feel this compressor is moderately priced for its quality, design, and usefulness. The Smart Jet Air Compressor sells for around $255 US from airbrushes.com. This is more than reasonable when comparing the quality of this compressor and its features to similar equipped compressors on the market today. I would like to thank the kind folks at airbrushes.com in the UK for sending me this Iwata Smart Jet Air Compressor for this review. Stop by their website to check out this compressor and the full line of Iwata airbrushes, compressors, and accessories. 